our impact on the planet is felt not just in what we transform, but also in what that transformation leaves behind. I come here because rivers carry and deposit sediment. This is what forms the rocks of the future. Geological armor, not just here. There's a lot of things in here that I would expect. There's lots of plant remains. There's some pollen grains, I see a few snail shells. But then amongst all that, there's some very odd little fragments like uh -huh, just here. Now that looks like a little shell, but it's not. Kind of plastic. What that is, is a little plastic pellet, the kind of plastic pellets that go into making plastic bags, plastic bottles. There's more of them, there's loads, there's another one. And, look at that, it's a plastic seal of a bottle. Now that may not be so surprising when you consider exactly where this river is. I'm right in the center of Los Angeles home to around 4 million people and all that goes with them. But the impact of plastics reaches much further than major cities. Globally, around 26 million tons of plastic ends up in the ocean every year, where it becomes part of something much bigger. In the Pacific Ocean, plastic from America is swept into a large revolving ocean current known as a gyre. As this current circulates, it also picks up material from East Asia. Over time, these plastics accumulate in enormous flotillas. One of them is so big, it's even got its own name the Eastern Pacific Garbage Patch. Eventually, the plastic is broken down by the sun's ultraviolet rays into smaller particles that sink to the seafloor where they're buried. It's the first stage in their transformation into sedimentary rock. Grand Canyon is a striking example of the scale this process operates on. These cliffs were once an ancient seabed, formed over millions of years as layer after layer of sediment built up. Under immense pressure, these layers were cemented together to form the rock strata we see today. The plastics that lie at the bottom of the ocean will eventually form part of the rocks of the future, our geological legacy.